Hello everybody, it's Sunday, November 7th, 2010, and it is time for the first weekend edition of the Gravy Boat on a Sea of Thoughts podcast. This is episode 7. And in today's episode, we will be discussing the news of the week of October 31st, 2010. First off is Nintendo of America's Vice President Reggie Vizami has stated that the 3DS will sell fine without smartphone capabilities. Find my opinion on this statement on my blog, gboasot.blogspot.com. Danish company IO Interactive will be laying off around 30 employees. This is the second round of layoffs for IO Interactive this year. Fable 3 was the king of UK sales charts for the week of October 30, 2010. The Halloween Minecraft update is now available. Halo Hell-like world called The Slip and Bio Memes, which are like climates, are now available. The special edition of Michael Jackson, The Experience for the Wii, will come with a replica of Michael Jackson's iconic white glove. Speed Demon and Dirty Data have also been announced as playable songs. Blizzard is now offering one free name change in StarCraft II. In sad news, Luke German, age 22, was found dead on the front lawn of his house. The attack was allegedly caused after he was accused of cheating in Madden. Another moment of silence for Luke German, please. So any PS3 owners can expect a patch in January for an NBA 2K11, which will allow gamers to play basketball in a third dimension. Copernicus Conspiracy will be an exclusive PS3 DLC for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It will be free and launch on November 16th. Rock Band 3's Fender Squire Stratocaster Guitar and Controller will, be, will begin pre-order on November 1st. Hit stores... March 1st, and cost $279.99. In other words, $280. Sorry to any fan who has been waiting for NBA Elite 11, because EA has canceled it. No official reason why. Despite some low sales, uh, Medal of Honor, the Medal of Honor reboot has sold 2 million copies within its first two weeks. Due to the excess of FIFA 11, Medal of Honor, and downloadable titles, EA has managed to cut its net losses down to $201 million from $391 million. Microsoft has announced that the Kinect will sell from 3 to 5 million units. Darksiders 2 has been pushed back until April 2012 at the earliest. Hulu Plus will soon be available to all PS3 owners, not just PS3 Plus owners. So now you don't have to pay two monthly subscription fees. Polyphony Digital Leader Kazunori Yamauchi told AutoWeek that Gran Turismo 6 is already in development. So it looks like you'll have to wait another 5 to 6 years. EA's FIFA Soccer franchise has sold 100 million units, making it the best-selling sports franchise of all time. Activision has announced a new Call of Duty game, Spider-Man game, Transformers game, and a new X-Men game for 2011. Very little information is given out on these games so far. Now time for some news related to your favorite video game blog, Gravy Boat on the Sea of Thoughts. First up is that we are now officially available on the iTunes Store. So please rate, subscribe, review, and... Enjoy, please. Also, you can check out the blog for various articles. Um, you can check out an editorial about, about what I think about the lack of phone capabilities for the 3DS, uh, the new fall update, and all the services that I will be supplying. The blog website is gboasot at blogspot.com. I also now have an AIM account and a Kick account. Both are gboasot. So please uh, message me anytime you want with any comments or feedbacks or questions. And that wraps up for the first weekend episode of the Gravy Boat on a Sea Thoughts podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, subscribe, review, do anything. Just uh, give me ways how to improve the show. I'm really looking forward to it. Have a good night and talk to you guys soon.